Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, Mike, again. Somebody on um, one of my videos asked a question about how to get your microphone audio into Ableton, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, okay? What you want to do is uh, you want to create an audio track up here, insert audio track, and then you'll get to one of these here, right here. And um, what you're going to do is come down here on the... Uh, Right below external in, there's another drop down here, and you want to select zone one and two. Now that's going to automatically show up because in your, where is it, in your preferences over here, when you click on preferences, you're going to get this, you know, ASIO driver, and then you're going to have the audio device. So this is already going to be configured to come out of zones one and two. And if you think about it, you know what I mean? Zone 1 and 2 is what all the sounds come out on. So if you just print all of your tracks to like a clip in Ableton, then you can trigger the whole song and then just have your audio coming out your, you know what I mean, have your your vocal be the only thing that comes out of your uh, your speakers in, in Ableton and stuff. So it, it's just a voice on, on its own. And that's how that's what I'm doing here. So it's really simple. Just come down here, this audio from, you're going to see external in. Just do this next drop down and select zone one and two because by default, it'll be on one. So you have to switch that off to zone one and two. And then the other thing you got to do is you got to set monitor to auto and then you got to hit record down here and then you'll start seeing audio level. So I'll take it out and you'll and my voice will go mute. And now you can hear me because... We got to turn that thing on right there, and that should do it. All right, guys, really quick video today. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe, comment if you have questions regarding the Phantom. I'll be happy to help. Have a great fucking day. Peace.